Yeah, good evening everybody. Tonight we're going to talk about the Chinese Zeltec adapters that you order off of AliExpress from companies like Emco, HKLRF, Golden Chipset, etc. Um, you have two different adapters, um, models. You have the CX, which are for the 5000 series and you have the dx which are for the 6000 series the adapters are the same the only thing different is this little chip right there that little chip it is an encryption chip like a printer it holds the model number and it holds how many times that the adapter's been used so how many chips have been programmed so eventually it will more than likely nag at you that it'll need to be replaced. Um, when you order and you have an issue with the unmatched adapter on a programmer that was manufactured right around 2016, 2017, they'll send you this instruction sheet. Yeah, good luck reading that if you're an English speaker. Um, so... What you'll want to do is replace resistor R6 pretty interesting the cake all oh, those circuit boards but resistor R6 and the older programmers is right there the older programmer said is a 3.6k you will need to change that to a 3.4k it's an 0805 and you want 0.1 percent in the tolerance you want that as accurate as possible um, once that is changed um, it shouldn't affect your calibration it shouldn't affect anything other than being able to run the Chinese Zeltec adapters with the AE801 chip. You'll also be able to run the older adapters with the AE80 chip. Um, I guess the AE80s became unavailable, so Zeltec changed to the AE801, which has different power requirements. Um, and that is how you change that power requirement. So, I really hope this uh, helps somebody out. And go ahead and trust these uh, Chinese adapters. They do work. I've been using them for a while. This is, I've modified or done this modification to about four Zeltec uh, 5,000, 6,000 uh, programmers, and all of them were working flawless. So have a good evening.